Hello, welcome to Moomoo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to show how to calculate a moving average. A moving average is an average of a subset of the entire data. It is used in science and as an indicator used by investors to predict the movement of stocks. This will be a simple moving average, and it's used quite a bit in stocks. You may have heard of a 200-day moving average etc. So basically what it is, it's a subset and I will show you in a very basic example how to do a three day, three year moving average. The first thing you need to do is figure out what your subset is going to be. And in this particular instance, since it's a three year subset, I will uh, start at the two and my subset will be the number, the year above and the year below. If it were a four-year uh, moving average, I would start at the two, and it would be year one, year two, year three, year four. And then for the next year, year three, it would be year two, three, four, and five. But I'm going to do a three-year moving average, and the two is right in the center. So I then will take an average of those three years. So I will be four plus three plus five. And that equals to 12, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. For now, for year 3, and I'll do a bracket, okay, I will use 3, 5, and 6. 3, 5, and 6. And when you add those together, that gives you 11, and 11 divided by 3 is equal to 4.6. Now the next year, for year 4, I will use these three numbers, 5, 6, and 3, okay, and it is also 11 divided by 3 is 4.6, okay, and then you repeat this process. So for year 5, it's going to be this year, this year, and this year, so I'll draw a little bracket around it, and that will give you... 6, 3, and 2, okay, and when you add 6, 3, and 2 together, it's 11, 11 divided by 3 is 3.6, and you repeat again over here, for year 6, it is 3, 2, and 6, and that is the exact same thing again, so that's 3.6, and then you would continue this all the way down, uh, let me do one more, and then for year 7, it would be 2, 6, and 5. And here's why they call it a moving average. Let me move this up just a little bit. And you can tell why it's a moving average, because now when we get down for year 8, we don't have the data, and so we have to wait for the next year. And so the data, the data or the average just seems to move then along. Okay. What you can do next is once you have the uh, moving average calculated, you then can plot it onto a graph. And uh, in this particular example, I have year 2, and the value is 4, so I'll put a dot there. And then for year 3, the value is 4.6, so that will be about, there's 4.5, will be about right there. And then we have 4.6 again, and then we have for year 5, we have 3.6 and then year, year 6, we have 3.6. And then what you can do is you would just connect the dots. And it gives you a nice, pretty line. And uh, people who invest look at these, and they have all kinds of indicators that help them invest. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's all a moving, a simple moving average is. is an average of a subset that seems to move along as new data is collected. Thanks for watching. Moomoo Math uploads a new math video every day.